So when you used to visit the Wool Museum, there was nothing about Wadarong. We hear all about the Wool Museum, the wool industry, and that history caused significant harm to Wadarong people and Wadarong country. And when we think of the wool and the wool industry and the textile industry, it wasn't the first industry. Our people were making environmentally friendly, sustainable clothing on their country for thousands and thousands of generations. We think of the beautiful possum skin cloak. We think of the possum pelts, the way they were sewn together, the way they were made, the lifelong use of a possum skin. And they're the stories that we're missing from here. On the land takes a look at that. It takes a look at 60,000 years of human activity here um, and the impacts of, the, of human activity and industry on the landscape around us. And then kind of moves out from the space that we're on right now, right here in Geelong, uh, across Victoria and across Australia, and takes a look at how the wool industry has changed over the years and some of the, um, some of the impacts of that around the environment around us. Karina Eccles, Wadarung woman, and I also work for Wadarung Traditional Owners Aboriginal Corporation as the General Manager of um, Cultural Strengthening Team. I'm Patrick Fisher, I'm National Wool Museum Director, and um, I have the privilege of leading a, a really amazing team of uh, staff and volunteers that operate the National Wool Museum and the Waterfront Carousel. And we produce exhibitions, we care for collections across the municipality, and then we provide programs for visitors and residents. The Wool Harvest, which is the gallery we are in now, um, had a really long run, and people loved the gallery. They loved the experiences of being able to come in and see a shears shed and, and have that kind of immersive experience. We thought, instead of taking an exhibition and talking about wool and what wool is, Let's take a look at the environment that we're in, the impact of human activity on it, and, and explore what is the contemporary story of Australian wool told in a way that looks at individual stories and stories of people and stories of the land. Over 30 um, traditional owners, artists, craftspeople, technicians, historians, museum practitioners came together to reimagine what this gallery is and the stories that are being told in it. And it was very important for us to look at um, true and authentic voices, uh, you know, First Nations voices, um, community representations, and w how they make up this place that we call Geelong, and then how they are part of the broader Australian story. Uh, and so working with um, the Water Run traditional owners uh, kind of brought, helped bring all of that together, created a, 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 a strong foothold in, in the heritage of the land, but also it's it's ongoing culture. It's not it's not just in the past. I mean, uh, the Wadawurrung have a, a very strong and dynamic living and continuing culture, and we are now part of that continuum. So what that does is it it helps it helps bring 60,000 years of human industry and human endeavor into the present, and makes us part of that continuum. When people first walk in here they actually hear the first history of this land now. From sitting down and listening to one of our elders share an oral story about Bonjul. So people can actually sit in this space, put their headphones on, close their eyes, and deeply listen to that story. Just as you would in the past, be sitting there on country and listening to an elder tell a story. On the Land Our Story We Told opened in the midst of COVID. Um, so through all of those disruptions, the exhibition came to life. Uh, but despite that, since it opened in September of 2021, we've had about 60,000 people have come through the exhibition, which we're really happy to report on. Um, also really happy to say, um, to, to spook ourselves a little bit, that it has won um, peer recognition in both the museums and galleries sector and in the heritage um, and history sector winning um, peer accolades, the highest of its kind on the state of Victoria and national um, uh, museums and galleries awards for exhibitions of, the, of 2021. So we're really, really, really proud of that. And that is because of the work that we did bringing so many people together to tell the story of place 
and to how we reinterpreted um, environmental history and um, social heritage in, in this one gallery that we have here in the space. Mm -hmm.